I have neuroscience, I have composition, neurocomposition. Composition makes neuroscience an incredible cutting-edge method for learning composition thanks to passive learning. After music, my greatest passion is neuroscience because only if you know how the mind works, you can use it to its full potential. Thanks to the numerous high-level studies I have carried out in the field of the mind, in particular with the writings of Napoleon Hill, Joseph Murphy, Russell Conwell, Joe Vitale, Dale Carnegie, Carol Dweck, Navy Goddard, and above of all, HCE, Human Connection Engineering, an Excellence World Championship of the Italian House of the Functioning of the Mind by Paolo Borzacchiello and Luca Mazzilli, I have created this super effective method that allows you to learn composition in a passive way. How does it work? Take a pen and paper, watch the video and copy everything I write exactly step by step. I guide you by staying close to you, in every single passage, in every solution, in every technique. You learn by assimilation. Even if you don't understand everything right away, it's not a problem. Working with me through this method, after several exercises, you will already have developed remarkable skills. In fact, you are not learning through rules, but thanks to your mirror neurons which take each piece of information as a seed and plant it in your subconscious mind. Over time, will make them sprout, transforming composition from an intellectual act to a natural action. Enjoy this experience at the highest level. Download the PDF I created for you directly from my Patreon page. Thanks to this PDF you practice on the same terrain that I work on with you in this video, because this will allow you to lay a solid foundation in counterpoint and composition. So, are you excited? I'm wearing these headphones not because I am Devi 504, but because I have to find a smaller system for listening my hardware and let the microphone to record only my voice. So, let's take the cochlearius pen, tabula compositoria, and let's start with neuro composing. So, this is our verset. Download this PDF from my Patreon page. First of all, let's analyze how this verset is composed, is formed. Okay, so first of all, we have the melody in the alto clef. So, This C means that in this point we have to play an imitation, an entry of the voice in the cantus. C is cantus. So we will see later. And now, thanks to the tenor clef, we have the entry of the tenor. So in this point we have three voices. The two voices, altus, cantus, and then tenor. And then, now, bassus, four voices. Perfect. So we have four entries, four voices, and we have now to realize this verset in four parts. In the PDF you can download, you find this page where now I'm writing a, my version, and another page that is the same where you can write your version. Because there is not only one possibility, possibility for realizing this verset. You can do something different, but first of all, the main purpose of neuro composing is that you follow step by step what I write, you understand what I write, and you learn with assimilation. So let's start. We have and in this point there was the C cantus. So we have to start the subject in this point. So yeah. That means A B 
than B G in this way, okay. And let's see if this works. In this way. Okay. So It works, we have, as you can see. This interval, now I write with blue intervals. Three, five, it works. Three, five, then we have three, the sharp. Six, three, and then five five three five and six okay you can say that these are parallel fifth in this style in a renaissance style we can do this passage especially also in this case this passage is a diminution of the reason is that we have this tight note that works as a suspension even if we don't have a dissonance at this point but a consonance like phi as you can see we have the tight note in this point and this works like a suspension so in this case we can do in this style we can do this and now let's see what's happening we have this point so on this a we have to play something like a cadence for the new voice now let's see how to lead the other voices so This works, so we have look at the numbers six, five, three. This is works like a passing tone six. Okay, then three and now thanks to our six in this way three or better this is not an f right yeah so we need We need in this case this major six and we can have now this four six chord. It is not really actually correct to think with chords in this style, but it can be helpful in some passages. So Thanks to this, like appoggiatura, we can have this passage. If we have, for example, in the altus, this point, at the place of this E, we had 
and F, we can play six, and now the tight note for the cadence. But because we don't have this situation, we have to use the six with the sharp. So write every single passage because they are important and you can learn in this way, composition, right? So, because we have this movement in the previous bar, we can add now a diminution. For example, let me see. to the fifth that is another consonant so three five with this movement and we have and now another cadence with the um, a more um, a bigger diminution in this way so okay so let's write this situation good point it is good to write the upper voice in parallel thirds with a tenor in this way three three and three now we can stay in the altus on the D so this is not in the style because we have these uh, notes the semi minimas. We can do this on the semi minimas. So we can do, for example, this. Okay. Then we have. And D. Okay, let's stop to on this D. So, this could be a good structure, so let's compose the upper voice. Write every single passage. Okay. variety in this point we can pass from the fifth to the sixth and then the third in this way okay now let's play diminutions so What we can play now is this works good so in this way B 
E, D, C, B. Okay, good. Now we can move the middle voice with this figuration that is girandoletta because he moves in circle. Girandola is something that has a circle. Okay? So. in this way okay and we can play in spons diminution for making an imitation with the altus in this way If we want, with the dotted note, good, we can now continue with parallel thirds. But personally, I find that we can play this in this way we have this rhythm and the same rhythm in this way and it is good for if we think something that is stable and solid on the first bit of the following stuff so D, D, A and F in this way remember that this is not vocal music this is keyboard music so we can do things that in vocal music are not allowed okay now let's play this Versed from the beginning to this point, to the entry of the bass. Thanks to this figuration, I have wrote parallel fifth. If we are improvising, I think that this is not a, um, a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake, but we can do it in improvisation. But because now we are writing music, it is better to don't have this parallel fifth. In this case, the origin, the um, this part of the fifth are originated by the diminution. And if I play this, moving with parallel thirds, adding the dot in this way, the F in this way, this is not good because of the yeah, it's not a mistake, but it, don't, it doesn't sound good, in my opinion, for my taste. So what we can do here is, let's see, also this key, in this case it doesn't work, no, no, so we can stay on the E because of our diminution. Okay, so remember, if you add diminutions, be careful that these diminutions don't, don't create other errors or mistakes like in this point, right? So, now we can decide to have 
have a rest. That is good, because in this way, the voice, remember that the altus is the first voice in the beginning. In this way, we can have a rest. And the singer, even this is, if this is um, organ music, keyboard music, the voice can breath. This is a good thing in this style. So, rest. But if we have this rest, we need a bigger diminution in the top voice. And for that, I prefer now, because of our changes, to add a diminution in this point. in this way okay and now on the second beat of this bar we can make the alto join again the musical speech in this way it works so let's recap this passage we have diminutions three five seven six three five seven six then four this is uh sorry this is six five four now we have with the bass four three with the sharp okay with diminutions good and now we can continue in this point we have diminutions in the altus now um, let's write numbers another important thing you have to do is writing numbers so three all the numbers with the bass obviously three five six five it is not necessary to write numbers all for, for diminutions and this is a good exercise because in this way you can learn to make a distinction between the, the structural notes and diminutions so three then three and three 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 so three three and three okay three then three three all three to this point where we have three good and now that when we are writing 
it's really important to have the voices with a good line, a good melody. When we improvise, sometimes this is not possible because we can't think all these things in the, at the same moment. But when we compose, we must follow all these rules. So copy exactly step by step what I'm writing for you. Now, let's continue. This direct fifth in four parts, they are possible. And thanks to the altos and the rest we added before, we can have this beautiful descending melody. La sol fa mi. Elegant entry. So five, three, three, and three, and the upper voice is eight, five, and five. Sorry. Okay, be careful. For a lock test, this is not allowed. Now, how to make this more fluent? I like on this beat, on the first beat of this bar, to don't have the movement because we have a new entry in the bass. So this is good. Okay. That is six, five, four, three, three. Now we can keep this voice, and in this way we can have the suspension nine, eight. with the upper voice in this point. So write every single passage, remember, this is important. So rest here and parallel thirds between the bass and the tenor. flat is the fa super la if you want to learn why this is a fa super la there is the lesson number eight on my solmization super course where i explain you all the secrets of solmization you find the link of this course in the description so let's go let's go on okay and we can conclude the descending of the altus on this C but be careful because if we have C this is not allowed because we have a leap to a dissonance in this way so we can't have in the, on this point the C but the best solution in this point is the sixth this bass works in this point if we think like basso continuo has a six chord okay third 
difference between the base and the cantus but be careful because thanks to this movement we can we have parallel octaves so we have to change something this melody so it means that in the tenor we have to change in this way so we arrive on the B flat after the G okay for having in the tenor A or better C so a fifth then six tight six seven six suspension in this way Let's continue the other voices. Okay, now we have the suspension in the altus. Four, three. Okay, this is a good thing. So we have F and F. Now, unison between the tenor and the altus in this point, unison. We can write U. Okay. not in this point but here and the tenor is D and here we have an F so let's finish this bar with diminutions so now let's add this diminution in the style of Cavazzoni in this way
in this way. Then, okay. Now let's rack out these passages and write numbers. So we have from this from this point we have. part of the bar we have to come back up with the altus in this way we can play this inversion We don't use the flat, the sorry, the sharp in this point. We don't use the sharp because the bass is going down pretty similar to a Romanesca. So it is better to have this. not parallel, eight, parallel octaves in this style. We can do this. we can do is for example that is a really good thing we can play a diminution in the bass in, in this way it's not forbidden because this is like a fa super la but we are not um, with the flat in the key so this fa super la is not actually so correct because the e flat is the fa super la when we have the sharp in the key in the nature when the when the nature of the chant is b flat 
not is soft it's not in this case so this is not a good passage what we can do is for example really simply in this way or if we want to go up because i want to go up now we apply the cadenza doppia or according to the renaissance style nomenclature con la sincopa tutta cattiva i write for you in this point con la sincopa tutta Cattiva according to Nicola Vicentino in his beautiful book L'antica musica ridotta alla moderna pratica, that is the old music of Greeks, um, adapt to modern practice, so modern in the one five five five. So l'antica musica the ancient music ridotta ridotta like is like um adapted to ridotta um alla moderna pratica so to the modern practice okay i didn't wrote well Good. La sincopa tutta cattiva, that is the a bad syncopation. The syncopa is syncopation, suspension. Cattiva is bad. Is because we have here the fourth, but it's not prepared. It, we don't have, for example, consonants, suspension, dissonance, and now resolution. We have the syncopation without the preparation. Okay. This, is the reason of cattiva bad so right we keep gg and now we play the suspension for three okay write now numbers in the correct way so in this way and now let's write all the numbers so stay on the E we have to go down to the four or it is 
better to go up because we can't live actually from this point. Maybe in baroque music, yes, but in this style, I don't want to do this. Okay, so. So the tenor, five, eight, five, eight, right? The altus, five, so the eight. Three, bad syncopation, and the upper voice, three, five, then three, then eight, then seven, six, five, and three. Now let's add diminution at the at the end. in this way For you who intensely love music and composition and you're looking for a solid method that gives you the basics you need, an effective approach that optimizes your time, a guided path that plants in you the right seeds of this art, you find this PDF, all other PDFs and loads of other extra contents on my Patreon page. Your small contribution to this video, your great gain in knowledge. Bye. If you have been watching this video up to the end, I bet you too are fascinated by the world of partimenti, improvisation and historical composition. For us musicians of the 21st century, it's important and fundamental to know these techniques and the way in which the great master of the past used them artfully to compose the extraordinary music we play today. If you master these patterns, you can better understand and interpret what you play. You can compose new music based on these patterns and you can improvise new music from scratch because you know the grammar of this musical language. For that I created Improvisation Elements, a set of several improvisation exercise videos for each of which you can download a PDF to practice whenever you want. Improvisation Elements is an ambitious project and is reserved for those who support my work on Patreon. Every week I upload new Improvisation Elements videos on different topics, sequences, scales, cadences and more. 
all these videos are organized at the following page. So now subscribe a membership on Patreon, choose the exercise you want to practice and become an improviser.